quarterback, and then they put Simeon in jail. And they say, you will not be able to get Simeon out of jail unless you prove to me that your story is true. Bring back your brother, Benjamin, your youngest brother, Benjamin. And they're like, that will kill our father. Our father will surely die if we bring back Benjamin. I don't care. Bring him back. Oh, no, no, no. Too big, too big, too big. So they go home. They talk to their father. They tell them that uh, the man in, in Egypt said that they wanted to see Benjamin. And uh, their father is like, no, you are not taking Benjamin with you. We'll ride it out. We are going to. We'll see how long this famine lasts, because they don't know about the prophecy. They don't know about the, the dream. So uh, they. They eat all the food, all the grain that they've been given. And after a while, they're like, okay, we need more food. We need to go back to Egypt. So eventually, uh, Israel is the name of the father. He relents. And he says, okay, bring back Benjamin. But make sure that you bring him back. And Judah... Uh, on his life says if you don't if uh, if I don't bring back Benjamin then you can uh, then you can take one of my sons you can kill one of my sons and I'm like I'm thinking when he says that really dad are you sure why did you go why do you say these things nobody asked me for my what Uh, so they go back to Egypt and they take Benjamin with them this time and uh, Joseph is still acting like he doesn't know he doesn't know Benjamin uh, but he pint-sized Jenkins raiding with a party of six hello there Party of six. I was in the middle of telling the entire story of Joseph. Uh, first time chatter, pint size Jenkins. <laughs> Greetings. Uh, put a bookmark there. We're, we are at the point of the story where Benjamin has been brought to Egypt. Uh, so Michael Bolden is my name, has asked about the, the story of, of Joseph, and I said, okay. Let's tell the whole thing. <laughs> uh, Pint says Jenkins brought six people. So for those of you who have not been here before, uh, I am a Christian comic artist. Uh, I'm currently in the middle of drawing a book called Joseph, Favored Son of Israel. This is Joseph. Uh, he has just come back from a long walk. Uh, his father, Israel, has said, go find your brothers. Make sure they're okay. And he went to Shechem, and they weren't there. And he was told that they were in Dothan. And he was like, I'm not happy that they're in Dothan. That's another day's walk. I didn't pack a lunch for three for four days. I packed for three days. So he shows up all hot and bothered and says, look, what are you doing here? I'm really mad. I'm going to tell father on you. And they've had enough. They said, nope. We've had enough of you, little brother, bossing us around like you own the place. So we're going to beat you up and throw you into that cistern. And that's where we're at right now. Uh, Michael Bolton says, uh, so the third temple, which becomes the abomination of desolation, was King Solomon's temple, correct? That's a good question. Uh, I don't believe it was the Solomon's temple. I think it was Herod's temple. Sorry for the random question. No, 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 that's all right. Uh, without looking it up, I think it was Herod's 
temple. So uh, that's that's the best answer I can give you right now. So, um, so we were we put a bookmark into Benjamin has just been brought to Egypt, and uh, so Joseph has all of them to dinner. He says, "Okay, I believe you now. Everyone, come to dinner." And He's still acting like he doesn't know the brothers. He's still using a translator. And uh, he gives hands out all the, the portions uh, at dinner. And he gives Benjamin the biggest portions. And all the brothers are like, it doesn't say they said anything, but I'm sure that they're thinking, what? What's going on here? <laughs> Why are you giving him the biggest portions? We are the oldest. We are the oldest brothers. Why does he get the biggest portions? So anyway, it doesn't say that, but I'm thinking that that's probably what they were thought. Um, so dinner goes on, and uh, eventually, Joseph can't take it anymore. He wants to know about his, his father. And he says, tell me more about your father. Tell me uh, more about him. And they, uh, they say, they answer all the questions that he's asking, and he starts crying. Joseph can't take it anymore. And he finally reveals himself as being Joseph. I am your brother Joseph who you sold into slavery. And they're like, oh no, we're totally done for. He is totally going to kill us. Uh, please. Uh, and even before they can, I mean, imagine what you would be thinking in their, in their spot. And Joseph comes to them and says, I forgive you. Uh, let's use the number seven around the eyes. So he immediately wants to know more about his father. Tell me more about my father. I swear I'm not going to kill you. So the way I read the story, the way I interpret the story is that I think Joseph was uh, a bit self-righteous in the beginning, in the beginning of the story. I, be I believe that he was given he was given a a coat, a colorful coat with sleeves. And what the Bible does not tell you, unless you read history, unless you know the culture of the day. Uh, it doesn't tell you that that was a, you know, that was the custom. You give the son who is going to be uh, the the bay whore is what they call it. The bay whore is uh, the person who is going to uh, be the in charge of the inheritance after you die. So. Uh, the older brothers were jealous that he gave that responsibility to Joseph. Which is why, uh, you know, him showing up in the middle of a desert, in the middle of nowhere with no witnesses, was a real temptation for them to, they were going to just flat out kill him instead of instead of selling him into slavery. And I don't think Joseph helped anything by telling them, you know what? I had a dream. You want to hear this dream I had? I had a dream that I was being worshipped by the sun and the moon and stars. 